Yeah, we back, man. Whole nother episode. English majors, we at the English majors headquarters. It's me, Clayton English. We back to it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, appreciate it, man. Shout out to everybody helping this dang run, man, making it go crazy. As you can see, well, as you can see on the board. Y'all see what it is, man. What women want? Toxic femininity. You see what's up there? Jeff put all this up there on his own. I didn't tell him to do this, but I guess that's what we're talking about today, man. So we, we got we got to get into it, man. I'm, 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 every time I'm on the internet, all I see is people going back and forth. Men do this, women do this. Women nowadays expect this. They expect too much. We're going to get into all that, man, and I probably will piss a few people off, man. It's probably going to make people upset, but that's what this is here for, man. If you upset, that means you actually feel something, and maybe we get a step closer to even understanding women. So let's get it. We're trying to figure out what women want. They don't know. They don't. I watched, I, I done said, I done been down the YouTube rabbit hole. I done watched all the videos, all the relationship experts and, and everything. First of all, if you're a relationship expert, let's see who you with first, because maybe, maybe that's why your shit work out. People might be dealing with a different caliber of person, so you never know. Toxic femininity. If it's toxic masculinity, it's got to be toxic femininity. Now, I didn't tell Jeff to put a little bitch in toxic sludge, but he did. And it's a good representation of, of what these women... Hey, these women are toxic through and through. They've adopted all our traits. All the toxic masculinity... I guarantee you there's an equivalent for, for women. They adopted all the shit. The shit has changed. Dudes acting like bitches now. Acting like dudes. Yeah, you don't believe me? It's, it's different. You see what they want. Hair, nails, food. My son needs shoes. Come on, man. Why the fuck he ain't got no shoes? He needs shoes? Like, he need them. What would you do if your son was at home? Need him. He needs shoes. You a bad mother. I'm sorry, man. Get him some bullshit shoes. Then he won't need some. They might not be what everybody else got. Your son out here needing shoes and you smoking a hookah. You got priorities fucked up. You got all your priorities fucked up, baby. Women want cash. That's our fault. Man, you got to take that. You got to take that on the chin. This tricking culture, all the simps, y'all made it happen. Y'all was giving away the money too freely for nothing. For nothing. Just give it away for nothing. Hey, man, do something. That's why y'all don't know the value of a dollar. That's why women don't even know how to really break the bank no more. The girls that, when my day, look, I'm, I'm older than y'all, assume, some of y'all. 80s babies in here, you know what it is, man. Look, women would try to break the bank slowly. They would try to break the bank slowly in increments. They wouldn't try to break you on the first date. These new women is going crazy. <laughs> first date, tomahawk steak. Bitch, you out your mind. You out your mind. How dare you order some shit where they put gold flakes on it? If you order any piece of meat that come in a damn briefcase, or cause a grand or anything like that, ma'am, you are out of control. I saw the one girl, they said she ate, she said she ate 42 oysters. 42 oysters in one sitting. Do you hear me? 40. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The shit made me sick thinking about it. <laughs> 42 oysters? Ma'am, are you a walrus? <laughs> At this point, you are an Arctic sea mammal if you eat 42 oysters. 42 oysters, that's not even safe. It's not safe to eat 42 nothings. <laughs> you ate 42 nuggets, you, you need to be in the emergency room. 42 anythings is crazy. 42 M&Ms. You was tripping. You went through a big bag, didn't you? 
You with it? Come on, man. Come on. At what point? Like, first of all, I don't want no woman that wait for me to eat. That's what it be. Women ain't ate all day, and then they get with you, and now they want to eat. And you know a bitch hungry when she know where she want to eat. If a bitch know where she want to eat, that bitch has had this meal on her mind. She is treating you like Thanksgiving. Because that's the only time people really know what they want to eat. You ask somebody what you want for Thanksgiving, your mama asks, your grandma asks, what you want for Thanksgiving? You go, run it off, right? Macaroni and cheese, I want, sir, I want, I want, uh, Dress it. I won't. It, you, you'll run it off because you're hungry and you know it's a big meal. You're looking at it like a big meal. That's the problem. Now, Sonny, you said, shout out to Sonny back there. Sonny said, women don't be knowing where they want to eat. And I want to share something with you, ladies. Neither do we. But you know what we do? We decide. We just decide. We just pick. Y'all would starve. Y'all would let indecision starve you to death. That's crazy to me. Listen, I'm just saying, if you don't, if you don't know where to, uh, this is another rule. Fellas, if you're taking women out and you're not no balling ass dude, you got a bunch of money, man, don't never take her nowhere you ain't been. Don't never go nowhere you ain't been. You just set yourself up. Why are you on enemy territory? Even worse, if she ain't never been. If she been and you ain't been, still don't go. But if she ain't never been and you ain't never been, oh, y'all finna get ambushed. Oh, they finna, oh, it's, yeah. They finna run through your pockets. They don't even put prices on the menu at this place, baby. Everything market price. When the last time you went to the market? It's gonna be market price. It ain't gonna be Costco price. That sea bass at Costco, that, that's affordable. You get in that goddamn restaurant, hey, we're gonna have to split this. <laughs> if we being real, I'm just, I'm going through what I've seen, what I noticed. I'm not generalizing. I don't want anybody to think I'm just talking down on women because dudes play a part too, man. I just told you the trick of culture is what made it go through the roof, man. The OnlyFans, the, the, come on, man. Video short. First of all, don't ever put nothing on the internet and think that somebody got to pay to see it. Everything that somebody paid to see, it's a, it's a group of internet. You underestimate how thirsty internet nerds are. If they want to see you naked, they'll put your body on somebody else. They'll put your head on somebody else. They're going to see you naked. They got AI now. If they want to see you naked, they're going to see you naked. You understand? So if you put it out there and it's you naked, best believe they're going to find it. They're going to find it. It's going to be out there. But hey, OnlyFans girls, I'm just saying, I seen some of y'all's videos and um, I think the top earners actually put in work, but a lot of y'all just, man, y'all dialing it in. How you got an OnlyFans and an Android phone? Girl, get some clarity. And why the video so short? Man, I'm from the... I'm from the old school era, man. I'm from the porn era where it was real movies. They used to have to go shoot them shits in Van Nuys, California. <laughs> yeah. Movie be uh, two hours of fucking. And they fucking with their shoes on, too. <laughs> Bitches and dudes fucking. She might have had four scenes that day. They both <laughs> got shoes on. She put in a whole eight-hour day, and you got an OnlyFans that want to charge people, and you go pop the pussy for 30 seconds. That's us falling for it. We accepted it. We trying to normalize shit that ain't normal, man. All this, man. I seen y'all women's vision boards, too. Y'all hoes ain't got no vision. <laughs> It's a goddamn problem. Your vision board is some shit another bitch doing. You just want to be that bitch. And then sometimes your vision board is some shit that's so attainable, why the fuck you ain't got it yet? <laughs> that's Casamigos and Crab Legs, bitch. You could have knocked this out in the weekend. This show, you ain't got no get up and go. This bitch ain't got no gumption. <laughs> you got to use old people words sometimes, man. Sometimes you got to bring back old people words. Gumption, bitch, you ain't got no gumption. Get you some goddamn gumption.
If I'm making sense, hey, somebody need to hear it, all right? All the little shit, man. Hookahs. I don't know who came up with the hookah. Hookah if you can't afford a bottle. <laughs> a hookah is a pity bottle. A hookah is I want something to come to my table. I need, I need something to come to my table that I can pass around to other people, but I can't afford a bottle. So bring me the shit from Alice in Wonderland. I want to be a caterpillar and smoke hookah in the goddamn club. And all you bitches that don't smoke but smoke hookah, bitch, you smoke. I don't smoke, I smoke hookah. Bitch, that's worse than smoking. That's 18 packs of Black and Miles in one goddamn hookah. Especially when your dumb ass mix the flavors. I want passion fruit, grape, sour apple, mint. Bitch, you want a smoothie. <laughs> That's not how <laughs> tobacco's supposed to work. Bitch, come to the club and want to smoke Jolly Ranchers. But look down at you for smoking weed. And then wonder why her throat fucked up the next day. I don't know why I sound like, bitch, I do. <laughs> Sucked on an exhaust pipe for three hours. <laughs> All that carbon monoxide. You lucky you're still standing. All the shit we made popular to flex on other people. Go back to having a goddamn good time with the people you came with. Y'all be trying to out good time the people that's having a good time. I'm sick of fake shit. I'm serious. The whole brunch shit. Let's go to breakfast late and get drunk and dress up like pilgrims. It's stupid. So sick of y'all in them brunch boots, man. Chelsea boots. They should have never told y'all shit about Chelsea. I don't know if Chelsea Clinton had something to do with them shits, but whoever made them Chelsea boots need they ass kicked with a pair of Chelsea boots. You got you a pair, don't you? That's why you're laughing. Yes, it is. You be brunched out. You be brunched out. Yeah. Brim with the little boots. Yeah. And then they go too far. One dude, his boots ain't had no back to him. I said, what is them? <laughs> them some mules, ain't they? Ain't that, ain't that just for the women? That's the problem, too. Women, there's a lot of dudes encroaching on your territory, and we apologize. I apologize on behalf of, that's not, that's not toxic masculinity. That's toxic femininity. When dudes come over there and start doing y'all shit, that's toxic. Dudes coming over there gossiping. Buying the purse you trying to buy. Now you got it on back order. <laughs> got to save something for them, man. Let them have it. Hey, man, I'm going to say this. This is the other thing. Uh, ladies, y'all go and do your errors. They got, what, the soft girl error? Right? Don't they got different eras they go into? Hot girl era, they go through the different phases. Like, they, they morphing. They a Power Ranger. Right, they, you know, they got their little errors. But bitch, are you in your era or are you just making errors? Ask yourself that. Because the error is some shit that's talked about after the shit happened. You can't talk an error up and then go into the motherfucking error. The error has to fucking happen. You got to actually do some shit to have an error. It's got to be more than just motherfucking words. Shit, I ain't going to say no more real shit. Man, listen, I don't know where else to tell you how to take it, but before we get any further, first of all, um, English major merger, go get it. What happened? We couldn't get no mannequin? That's crazy because y'all got mannequins. What, the mannequin was booked up, huh? I gotta get a mannequin 24 hour notice. You see how they do me, man? What is this? Just do my shit on a mic stand. Put a hat on it. The hat look good, but we couldn't even get a torso. That's crazy, man. Y'all going, they, I, I'm not, okay, fuck it. I'll tell it. It's story time anyway. I'll tell secrets of the 85 South Studio. They got a Michael Jackson mannequin at this bitch. <laughs> Yes, they do. My man over here thought it was a real person the first few times. 
He came in. He was like, why that motherfucker don't never let me in? I said, who? He said, the motherfucker with the Jerry curl. I said, man, <laughs> that's one of the mannequins. They wouldn't let me use. <laughs> Listen, man, this show is uh, is the English major headquarters, so we don't take ourselves serious over here. We talk a lot of shit, man, but hey, man, just, just back to it. With the women shit, I don't want y'all to think I'm all down on y'all. Women, I love y'all. I wouldn't be where I am without women. If you don't like women, you got a problem with your goddamn self. You understand what I'm saying? We love women. But them bitches. <laughs> Bye. Them bitches that get you every time. Listen, man, and, and I want to make it clear. It's a separation. It's a clear difference. I I actually I actually believe it's called uh, Maslow's hierarchy. Or so it, somebody got a hierarchy. It might not be him, but it's, it's women, it's bitches, and it's hoes, and you have to know that. You have to be clear. You have to be clear who you talk about. If you're not enjoying yourself, it's a lot of complaining, you probably with some bitches. If that shit fun, the liquor flowing, you keep hearing ski, you probably around some hoes. <laughs> That's the difference right there, man. I ain't never had a good time with some bitches, and I never had a bad time with some hoes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hoes get you into places, bitches get you kicked out. That's where I'm trying to take you, man. Listen, women, stop competing with the hoes. I remember my girl saw the bitches I was liking on Instagram. That's the worst shit. Never let your girl see who you liking. She gonna have shit to say. She saw the shit, she, this what you like? Now you got to act like you don't even like what you like. Mm-mm, no, I don't. Mm-mm. And you know the bitch bad, too. She try to do this what you like. Bitches with fat asses. Mm-mm, no. You know how hard it is to lie about shit you like? That's the, that's the crazy part. Then they hit you with it. Well, you go find that bitch. I'm not finna find this bitch on the internet. Now, if she around here somewhere, if you got a lead on her. But that's crazy just to send me out into the world. What else I said? Listen, man, you want to win the argument with your girl? Just don't argue. Don't even do it, bro. Because you going to lose. They going to make you argue like them. And you going to start looking like a bitch. And as soon as you look like a bitch, she going to switch. And she gonna be the calmest, coolest motherfucker in the world. Soon as you raise your voice, you hop, bitch, you did not say anything. She gonna be like, wow. <laughs> Look at you. See, this is why we can't. And you like, that's not how you was just acting. Stop, man. You can't win. They're using sorcery. They're using witchcraft. They'll change the meaning of words right while you talking. I asked my girl, I said, hey, did you forget what I said about you know, taking our son to the park. She said, I didn't forget. I just remembered right now. I had to go outside. I said, ma'am, you trying to trick me about words that I know. I had to look up the meaning. I said, forget. Let me make sure I'm on the right page. It's ridiculous, man. I'm just... I know it sounds like I'm venting, because I am. But these just my situations. This is what I go through. How do I deal with it, man? Exhale. Remember to goddamn breathe. That's what dudes do. We just inhale whenever we get pissed off. Your girl say some shit, you be like, and then you never exhale. That's why motherfuckers be having heart attacks before the time they supposed to. You ain't breathe. That waiting to exhale, that wasn't even for the bitches. That was for you, my nigga. You got to exhale. Yeah, I went to therapy. I went to group therapy, not group therapy, but me and my girl went to therapy, and it helped. I kept score, though. 
I definitely kept score. I was putting numbers up on her ass. I had a triple-double one session. I was like, yeah, you see? And then when, once the once the therapist is on your side, that's, that's it. Y'all done with therapy. It didn't work. Or it ain't work. That's the key. My girl was like, it ain't work for me. I was like, it was working for me. He was getting her ass whooped. This shit I'm saying, man, this shit I think about. Hold on. All right. Edit this, but come back. <laughs> but I got you. Uh, listen, man, ladies, we, we love y'all. We love women. Women the best thing going. Stop being insecure. Stop competing with bitches. We don't want these hoes. Nobody wants these hoes, really. Once you get a certain age, you want a bitch to go to bed. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> Y'all still talking about, I want somebody to turn up with. I don't. Turn that shit off. Put your ass in the bed, man. That's what we want. We don't want to, we don't want to, hey, man. At a certain point, it's going to be time to go to bed. And if your bitch is up when you go to sleep, she for the streets. That's the only way to put it. Even if she on her phone while you nodding off, she in the streets on that phone. And you better check her. She might be the reason you're nodding off. She be the slip you something. These bitches is on drugs. Ain't that what they said? Girls on drugs. Ain't that what they said? I seen a bitch roofing herself. These bitches put the shit in their own drink. And also, ladies, stop looking for the... for the dude that's buying the bottles. Look for who's sipping lean. <laughs> he gonna go to sleep. And lean is expensive. He got a habit. And he got a habit. And he gonna nod off. And we nod off. That's when you run off. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm listen, man, I'm trying to help. If y'all gonna be toxic, then go ahead and be toxic. Don't be pussyfooting. Go ahead, you trying to hit up the scammers and stuff. He scammed hard for that money. You can't just get that shit to you. The, Drew, the dude that drink lean got money to blow, and he going to sleep. All you got to do is make the store run for him. He going to let you keep the change. And he going to give you a knot to flex. You got to understand how this shit work. Yeah, he, he going to be fat. He going to be fat, and he going to wear tight designer. <laughs> tight designer clothes. But he fat. The reason a nigga like me can't buy no media. Me fat niggas know it's supposed to be two letters in their side. They in the shit. Because this shit said Dior. Not when you got it on. That shit said deodorant. <laughs> it's just stretched the fuck out, my boy. It was not built for trap bodies. That's what I would say, man. I don't think them niggas was making that shit. I don't think they was making that shit for trap bodies, bro. A motherfucker sell packs and drink lean all day. I don't think they was making... Versace, Versace might have had them in mind. Because Versace look, look all right on fat nigga. Big Pun showed us that. <laughs> <laughs> fat nigga, Biggie, Biggie and them showed us. Fat niggas can pull off some Versace. Versace said, yeah, we got a, we got a, we got a big and tall section. <laughs> Hey, man, hey, if that nigga shop in the big and tall Versace section, leave him alone, man. That nigga's a Colombian drug lord, you hear me? Oh, man, hey. All right, what else, man? All right, what else I say? Listen, I see all the people talking online. Women, honestly, what do y'all want? What do y'all want? Because y'all say shit, but then it contradicted. It ain't all about the money, but he got to have some money. He got to make six figures. Six figures, like, 
Six figures ain't shit if he's spending money. You want a motherfucker that makes six figures and don't do nothing. You want to go to go go back home, dude. But no, you want a dude that makes six figures and can pop shit and can go out and fund all the lifestyle and all the shit you see somebody else get that you think you supposed to get. But if you ain't get it yourself, you ain't gonna appreciate it. That's why you gotta start them out. Just stop buying them the nice purses first. Hit them with them training wheels. Take this Dooney and Burke. Get you a Dooney and Burke. <laughs> get you an old lady purse before you go up and get the Louis shit. See how she act with that Dooney and Burke. I don't want this shit, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> go ahead, get out of there. And fellas, stop bullshit, man. Stop, stop trying to sneak this shit in on women and all that bullshit, man. All that weird shit. Stop being fucking freaky and shit. This shit weird. Don't do that shit. I told y'all. Said that shit before. Like, I'm going to say this. Listen, let these women do whatever they going to do. But let them know what you're trying to do. Don't never sneak your dick in. That's where, the, that's where a lot of this trouble coming from. Motherfuckers is trying to sneak their dick in the situations. Don't you sneak your dick in, man. Tell her what's up. When we get in here, I'm going to pull my dick out. <laughs> this is if y'all been kicking it. You don't say this at the initial greeting. You going to jail, man. You don't say that like this once. Yeah, hey, if you come up here, it's late night. Just go ahead and stop trying to be slick and crafty and motherfucker, I, here we go, watch a movie. No, you ain't finna watch a movie, man. Ma'am, when I go up here, my dick coming out. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> with or without you. Ma'am, I took that honey pack <laughs> in hopes. <laughs> my dick coming out when I get inside, bitch. For my safety. <laughs> hey, a motherfucker that take a honey pack on the on the on the hope? On a on a chance? That's a dangerous man. That's a dangerous man, bro. You ate a honey pack. I don't know what I'm gonna see where the wind takes me. No, bro. Bro, you going to jail. That's crazy. Oh man. All right, man. I said that, man. These are just PSAs at this point, really. I did see a lady say uh, she wanted, she didn't need money. She didn't need all the material stuff. She said she needed attention, time, and effort. That's what she needs from a man. Attention, time, and effort. How much of each do you expect to get and if a nigga got attention, time, and effort and no money, bitches ain't cool with arts and crafts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'd have made some dope ass origami and gave this bitch. She don't give a fuck, man. Attention, time, and effort. If you have attention, time, and effort, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You bring a boo, attention, time, and effort, and you don't have no money. What the fuck is you doing with your attention, time, and effort? Can I make money focusing all my attention, time, and effort on you, lady? No. Then attention has to go somewhere. Like, let's just be logical about shit when people say shit, man. Attention has to go somewhere. You only get so much attention. And you got to pay it. How many motherfuckers get paid attention? Women. Some of them, that's their sole currency. They only accepting attention. And that's hustling backwards. Get your shit together, man. I'm listen. All I'm saying is, if you've got attention, time, and effort, you should be focusing that on whatever the fuck you're trying to make happen in your life. And I guarantee you, whatever the fuck see you, whatever lady see that shit, she gonna be like, oh, okay, I see what's going on, and I'm with the program. If you gotta keep explaining the program, 
And this ain't the program. And this go for women, too. Y'all know what the fucking program is. Explain it. Stop making it mysterious. Nigga ain't got time to figure this shit out. Just say what you're actually saying. It take longer to sit on some shit and let the shit turn into some bullshit, and now y'all goddamn arguing about shit that ain't even what you really arguing about. And then when you get to what you actually arguing about, you find out how small that shit was, and now you're mad all over again. Because you could have settled this right when it happened. But hey, man, that's people in general. I'm not generalized. What I saw that one show, what's the show where they locked up on the Netflix shit? And they let them, yeah, the lockdown shit. Lockdown. Yeah, what my man said, my man said the best little shit on that bitch. He said, man, sometimes you gotta be realistic, <laughs> not characteristic. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes you can find a jewel anywhere, bro. Sometimes somebody just drops some shit they don't roll. Sometimes, <laughs> motherfucker said, be realistic. Not characteristic. Now think about every motherfucker that be characteristic. It be some fucked up shit, don't it? That's fucked up. Uh. Ladies, I don't know what y'all want. I can tell you what men want, though. And you're not gonna believe me, but I'm gonna fucking tell you anyway. Peace. That's it. Peace. Motherfucker want peace. If you can't go to the house and it be peaceful, I like... Niggas don't even know they want peace because they ain't never had peace. Motherfucker be so war ready. Oh, okay. Why are you laughing? Don't, don't laugh. That shit don't make sense. You hear me. <laughs> that shit hit another goddamn spirit. Nah, but listen, man. You really have to... Uh, you got to look at this shit from like... You got to zoom out sometimes. That's all I'm going to say. Zoom out. It can't be... This thing, this thing, this thing. Maybe look, look, stop being myopic. You understand what I'm saying? You see them words? You see, that's why this is the English major shit, because I be having a few little words, you know, thrown in there. You got to be myopic, man. No, don't be myopic. That's zooming in. But what the fuck is zooming out? Zoom optic. Listen, man, see? You see how you can undo the smart shit with the smart shit? Trying to be smart, cause I don't know the I, cause I don't know the antonym. So now I look stupid. Look, man, all we want peace. That's it. That's it. Be the peace at the crib, and that shit'll go smooth, ladies. If you want to make the relationship work, some of y'all just want to go to war. Let, then, then, okay, no limit, soldier. Go ahead. Go ahead, no limit soldier. I thought I told you. But if you want to goddamn VP, hey man, say whatever the fuck you saying. It'll make shit a lot easier. Stop expecting us to pick up on shit. We ain't gonna pick up on nothing. You have to tell us. We have to be shown the shit and then, yeah. And we'll let you know. We might not do the shit, but at least we'll let you know. We, we'll probably just be like, we ain't, not right now and then never do it. But <laughs> that's, I mean, come on. If I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to be like, I ain't doing that shit, but I'll be like, not right now, but I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> but all I can tell you is be his peace or else he going to be out there trying to find some peace. You understand? He going to be trying to find a little peace to goddamn be the fake peace when he, cause, and then it's only fake peace because if you go out there and you find your little peace, it's only peace because you only be with the bitch a little bit of time. You only be with the bitch a little bit. You ain't even with the bitch a lot. That's why you don't like the bitch because you, 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 you like, oh, I'm over here all the time. Mother bitch, let me do what I want to do. Yeah, for two hours. If you would stay over there three hours, that bitch finna go and get on your goddamn nerves, man. You finna have to kick in. You pull your PlayStation over there, see what happens. See if the script don't flip. I'm making shit up now? Okay. All right. This is what I'm saying, man. Don't, don't think the shit grass green on the other side just cause. No. That shit gonna be the same bullshit. Don't run off. <laughs>
Don't run off to the other shit thinking it's better. I say that too. Like, you know, um, women be like, well, I'm finna deal with women now. If that's what you truly want to do, cool. But if you think you finna escape the toxic masculinity fucking with women, you got life fucked up. They going extra hard. You know what I'm saying? They like the white dude in the gang. He got to prove himself. I beat everybody up. I beat these niggas up. Hey, hold on, man. What the fuck wrong? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all stupid. Listen, this this is this is my take on the shit, man. Um, ain't nothing wrong with bringing your own shit. All that table shit. Fuck all the table, man. Don't nobody even eat at the table no more. I eat in front of the TV. So if a nigga asks you what you bring to the table, say, fuck you. I ain't eating at no table. I'm on the road. If I eat at a table, it's at a steakhouse, you bitch. That's the shit you got to do, man. Go to white people places. Get a charcuterie board. Do that shit. Ball out different. Stop going where everybody go. You save a little money going where everybody ain't. Go to the nice white places. Stunt on the white people. Stop stunting on us. Why we got to stunt on each other? Damn, my nigga. Y'all ain't got to do that. You see, we didn't get no seafood tower. Y'all going to order the shit and not even eat it all? That's fucked up, because I'm tempted to grab one. Y'all left. What I'm saying is, man, kick it. Relax, go somewhere different. Stop trying to do what everybody fucking else doing. That's why you go to them places and it's the same. Listen, man, listen. Stop going to all them Instagram spots. Get your ass out of there. That's where most shootings happen than anything. If it's a popular Instagram spot, you probably gonna get shot. Not by a camera. You wanna get shot by a camera. You go get shot by some shit that's hot. Stop. Stay out them popular Instagram spots, man. And listen, man. Women, I don't mean none of this shit. Okay? I mean all of it. Let's do it, man. Y'all know what it is. It's office hours, as you can see on the side. Maybe you can't see. We didn't, that ain't who usually write our sign. Um, but it, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's not good, but it's all right. That's what we said. I'm just fucking with you. It's, it's fine. All right, so office hours, you know what time it is, man. It's the part where I give out the advice. Any advice I can offer to help people, however you may get it to me, Get it to me. You understand? You can email, hashtag, whatever, send it to the IG. Or you can send an actual letter. You can send an actual sealed letter. How this got here? <laughs> it's not even on the, it's no postage. Like, so they put it in another package to send just this. It's still, it's really, it's, I want you to, it's actually, somebody lick this. <laughs> somebody lick this. Do you understand? This letter might be, Cut out pieces of magazine. It's long. All right, look. All right, here we go. My man here, he said, all right, he been a fan. He needs some advice on the situation. He been cool with a lady named L for just under 10 months. He said the relationship been cool. He fucked with her. He really like her, although he never really discussed being exclusive. She always say shit like when I get married, our kids will be beautiful, beautiful, which I took as that we were in a relationship. Oh, yeah, boy, you crazy. <laughs> the, 
<laughs> the other night, I went out with friends to a lounge and saw L inside with another guy. Since L comes from a large family with many cousins, I initially thought he might be a relative. However, as I watched, the guy pinned her wrist to the table and tried to forcefully pull her in for a kiss. I lost my cool, rushed inside. <laughs> <laughs> Who this letter from? Forrest Gump? Hey, man. Hold on. What'd he say? What'd he say? Hold on. He said, where, where is it? Where is it? I rushed this side. Uh, <laughs> I grabbed the guy, ready to stand on business. To my surprise, L went off saying they were together. When I confronted her about our relationship, she said she's still seeing other people. I was humiliated and left the lounge feeling like a damn fool. Y yeah. That might do it. <laughs> he probably woke up the next day. I don't know why I feel like a fool. <laughs> he made a fool out your goddamn self. That's what happened. All right. The <laughs> he still got more letter. That's crazy, too, right? The next day, L showed up for the game. We had tickets for her, acting like nothing happened. She told me she likes me, but is still dating others. When I asked why she didn't stop the guy at the restaurant, she said their behavior was just their love like. <laughs> He is fucking the shit out of L. <laughs> they got a love language? Oh, he is piping her down. You lost my boy. I don't even have to finish reading this letter. <laughs> oh, they got a love language. She, she said, yeah, that's our love language. He is, yeah, 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 they, they, they freaky. Ooh, we. They are extra freaky. They are flipping bitches together. <laughs> they have way more fun than you do with her. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. It's, it's, he still got more. That's, all right. Now I'm struggling with two questions. Was I wrong for assuming we were exclusive based on our comments? And was I out of line for how I acted at the restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you was, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, you was wrong, and then you was, and then you was wrong again. <laughs> you was wrong in your mind first. That's where you first were wrong. Now, you could have got that one right. All you had to do was actually say something. You didn't say shit, and you figured it out in your mind. You figured it out in your mind, and you didn't talk to nobody else. So now, you was wrong in your mind. Then, you was wrong in real life. And you lucky buddy ain't beat your ass. He might have. You probably left that part out. <laughs> I, matter of fact, I know you left it out. That's why the letter is so chunky, because it's more story, but you filled it up with a lot of filler. It's a long letter. But the ass whooping is left out. This letter would be a four-page letter if the ass whooper was still in it. <laughs> yeah, man, you, you were wrong. Just always get the straight, get clarity, man, and um, stop following bitches, too, bro. How you knew where she was? Talk about I just so happy to see her at the... Yeah, right. Yeah, right, bro. You keep this up, you're going to be in a goddamn cell somewhere, man. Yeah, you tripping. You big tripping. You don't even realize how wrong you are. Am I wrong? Yes. Yes. How did you know where she was? And then you rushed in there. What's going on here? I bet that's what you said. <laughs> What's going on here? I know that's not what I think it is. You just start saying everything you ever seen in a movie. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put this letter back. We're going to seal this one up. <laughs> We're going to return this to sender. And when we find out who it came from... <laughs> We gonna do a wellness check. <laughs> Make sure he's all right. 
Get this shit out of here. Do we got any more letters through, through the mail? Did that come through the mail, or, or did a stork bring it? Was that, was that brought by the Easter Bunny? How did that letter arrive? On the Polar Express? <laughs> Santa Claus jumped it off. He just... <laughs> <laughs> Sunny Claus, yeah. Yeah, all right, we got any more um, people that need advice? I actually, after that, I don't want to give no more advice. <laughs> I really don't. If this is, if this is the shit y'all going through, y'all need more help than I can provide, man. I felt like he reached out to me way too late. This shit might have to turn into a Big Brother program. <laughs> We gotta get to these motherfuckers young before they start tripping. They're just going out here emotional for no reason. Probably on drugs too. <laughs> Fucking with them perks. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, oh, I have so many more questions. Can we find out who he is so I can talk to him? I wanna know what he had on when he ran up in there. Cause I'm betting he had on his work clothes. <laughs> ah, okay, all right. More advice. I know I know I could give some more advice, man. I, I think I, I'm trying to. I'll try. I'll do my best. People going through it out here, man. You never know. Never know what the next man going through. Just so happy. That's the bullshit if you ever hear anybody say that phrase. <laughs> Man, just so happened, the shit was in my car. Yeah, motherfucker, because you put it in there, dummy. <laughs> Stay away from those phrases. Just so happened, and all we got to do is those phrases, yeah, those are not safe phrases to be around, bro. What we got? So we have another letter. You ready? Let's do it, son. No, Let's do it. Okay. You can. Hi, Clayton. I am a successful black woman, and I've got some serious frustrations with dating. I've built my own business, my own home, and I'm proud of all of my accomplishments. But hold when it on, comes hold to hold on, she ain't built her own home. <laughs> yeah, who is this? Who is she, John Henry? <laughs> <laughs> she Bob the Builder. She built her own home. I get it. I get it. I'm just playing. I'm, 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 I'm playing. Okay. I'm good. She but, built it though. But when it comes to dating, it feels like I'm hitting wall after wall, and I just don't know what I really want from men. Yet I expect everything. Take it, my last date, for example. He seemed like a catch, successful, educated, and had his life together. But he took me to this like super pretentious restaurant with tiny portions and a ridiculous price tag. I was polite, but all I could say was, why not just take me somewhere with some soul food? We could actually just get to know each other and enjoy ourselves. And then there's the communication. I met this guy who texts me all day long. Seems cool, right? But except it's a bit overwhelming. I'm running a business. like I cannot be glued to my phone 24-7. But when another guy takes, <clears throat> excuse me, but when another guy takes hours to respond, I start wondering if he's really even interested. I need attention, but not so much that it distracts me from my goals, just a little bit here and there. So let's not even really kind of even talk about the guy who planned a spontaneous weekend getaway without checking my schedule first. Like, I love the idea of being spontaneous, but... I'm also a super busy woman. Rearranging my packed schedule causes more stress than joy. I know my expectations are high. I want a man who's ambitious and driven like myself, but I also want someone who knows when to give me space and time. Someone who knows when I need to be able to work and can respect my time and communications and boundaries. I want a partner who understands unique challenges and I, that I face as a black woman and who supports me without trying to control or overshadow me. Is it too much that I ask for a man to be strong yet sensitive, successful yet humble, Attentive yet independent? Am I settling for a disappointment? Or is there a man out here for me? Help me. I'm starting to feel like there will never be a guy. I'm frustrated and I'm fabulous. I don't know what she asked. <laughs> I don't know what she asked. She lost me. She lost me very early on, and that's part of the problem right there. Confusion. You, you operating in the chaos sphere, ma'am. What did you ask me? What was the question? Sonny, I want to thank you for acting that out so very well. You should have seen her. She had, she had emotions. She made a little snot come out of her nose, like Viola Davis. Or she's just a little sick. I don't know. 
<laughs> we all might got the sniffles in this bitch. That's why I'm not passing to nobody. <laughs> Come on, what they say? She said, is it too much to ask for a man who's... No, 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 no. What is the question? I heard what she said, but what is the question? She, she says, okay, first of all, she said a lot without saying shit. So that's, that's a problem right there. We'll just get to the point. First of all, ladies, listen, if you want to get the man, you want to make sure it's clear, get to the point first. And then you can hit us with all the other shit, but get to the whatever it is you lead with that. I know how y'all like to bring it at the end, but we're going to be lost. So when we get to the end, we're going to forget where we started. So start with it and then come back. But what I will say is just because you successful, and I get it, you successful, but you expect the dudes to text you back in a few hours, you just said you're busy. A few hours is, that's busy. Like, other people got to work too. A lot of people don't text. I don't text nobody back. I'm a psychopath. I'll call you. I might FaceTime you. Yeah. I'm not, listen, you can't gauge, listen, gauge people by their effort, not whatever standard you have set up. If somebody communicates with you and they showing you communication and it's not days in between, a motherfucker ain't ghost to you, then if that's how they communicate, then maybe you accept how it is. Or you don't. And you, you go be, you know, and how successful are you? Because I think success is, you know, everybody's successful now. At what? <laughs> the motherfucker that take change on the side of the road, he have successful days. <laughs> <laughs> he started out with nothing. <laughs> it's not like he's stacking it. <laughs> we know the dude that asked for change on the side of the road, he not stacking this shit. Y'all think he got just... <laughs> he got racks put up somewhere under a bridge. No. He is blowing through whatever he makes that day. But he has some good days. All success ain't the success you want. Stop wanting other people's success too. You don't know what they did to get their success. No diddy. Well, imagine. Imagine. I'm not saying it's true, but I'm just saying it's imagine. You go to the Diddy party. I'm finna get on the hoes. You get there and you the hoes. <laughs> you the hoes. You in the room with the bitches. Then you finna get it on with the bitches. They like, oh, you want us. <laughs> That's crazy. Be careful. Hey, you don't know. I'm just saying. And if Diddy did do it, did it. First of all, his name sound like he did it. Because that Diddy is not a good look right now, bro. He didn't have no foresight on that, but I will say this, man. If Diddy was doing anything, I don't think it was nothing that he fucking came up with. I don't think it was nothing that wasn't goddamn already existing and fucking being done. Because remember, everybody went to Diddy parties. Everybody. All the top people, all the A-list, everybody was at the Diddy doing the Diddy bop. It was in there. I'm talking about not just the black ones, not just the R&B people, the top, the white ones. Yeah, they was in there. Here's the best white party in the Hamptons. Yeah, where they at now? I'm just saying, I don't want to tear nobody down, kick nobody while they down, but hey, I can speak on shit. And I feel like I don't know that I don't know if Diddy did all that. Now, the Cassie shit, he paid for that, so you got to leave me alone. <laughs> if you pay for it, you got to leave me alone now. Come on now. I, yeah? Yeah? It wasn't what she said it was, but it was something. It, was, it, wasn't, no, it wasn't nothing like what she said it was, but it was something. I could have gave her something. I left her with nothing. That was fucked up. That was fucked up on me. I did. I left her in Turks and Caicos. That was fucked up. She had no way of getting home. It was during a hurricane. I said, fuck it. You going to leave me? Brave the elements, bitch. And I hopped on my private jet and I left. That's maybe, we don't know. Well, you understand what I'm saying? But the other shit with the dude, I, hey, he, he, he make, I don't know. Some of that shit, I don't know, buddy. See, it did he grope his anus.
I don't even know how that's fucking possible. Yeah, ain't it? That's inside your ass. <laughs> what the fuck? You got pants, drawers, butt cheeks, <laughs> booty hole. That's to get to an anus. If anybody did that, they a monster. <laughs> they need to be locked away. But I don't believe that shit one bit. Fuck out of here, man. You got your anus grabbed. You had your anus out. That's what was going on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you show up to work. I don't know what your work uniform looked like. <laughs> I wouldn't work there no more. I know that. The day they told me, hey, change into this. I'd be like, yeah, I quit. <laughs> this is just my observation on shit, man. You take it with a with a grain of salt, man. But don't be surprised if his lawyer in the courtroom. If it does not fit. <laughs> Cause I <laughs> hey man, that's yeah. That, 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 that's one of them things, man. You just gotta let it play out. Just stop jumping on shit with shit go down and bad and give everybody goddamn equal treatment. How about that? Talk about all the fucked up people. You saw Prince Charles new picture. He evil. Show his new picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He took this inside a snake egg. This motherfucker here. He looked like the bad guy from Ghostbusters. That's Vigo. What about Vigo, the master of evil? Try to battle my boys? That's not legal. Shout out Bobby Brown giving the whole plot away. That's it, man. That's it. I'm going to get canceled and get in trouble. <laughs> People might try to kick my ass. Women probably mad at me, but somebody heard something they needed to hear. And that's what this shit is about, man. There's no reason not to know shit, man. It's a lot of shit I don't know, but I'm going to say what the fuck I think. And hey, we're going to come up with a conclusion together. So until next time, y'all know what it is, man. English majors, Live from the headquarters. Y'all know what it is. I'm Clayton English. See y'all next time. Let's go.